Hello everybody, Nick here at Skog and Dickie. Today's technical video is gonna be talking about our dry to wet conversion kit for the Gen 4 LS engine. Now, dry sump oiling systems came on a few different engines in the Gen 4 LS. It was actually an option for the Grand Sport. If you got a manual transmission LS3 C6 Grand Sport Corvette, it actually came with a dry sump setup. Of course, it came in all the LS7 equipped vehicles, including the Z06 and the special edition Z28 they offered for the fifth gen Camaro, and the ZR1 Corvette. Now, there's a lot of reasons why you would actually take that system off. It's very beneficial. It actually helps in high G cornering forces that you're experiencing in a, like a road race application. But if you're swapping the vehicle or doing other performance modifications, or if you just don't wanna deal with the setup at all, a lot of people don't wanna run it. So we're offering a kit that gets rid of the dry sump setup for a wet sump setup. It's actually a pretty simple kit, but we wanted to go over some of the components that are involved, some of the components you need and why, and even some of the installation orientation we get a lot of phone calls about. So let's dive in. One of the first parts you're gonna get is a new front timing cover. This is new from GM and includes the bolts, the gasket, the front seal, and yes, even a cam sensor. You're also gonna get a wet sump oil pump new from GM as well. You're gonna get a lower timing gear, a new balancer bolt because you can't use your original, and a new balancer, as well as the spacer that we'll discuss here in a minute. Now, the reason you have to remove some of these components is that the block is essentially the same as a wet sump block, even though it was made for a dry sump application. So it's as simple as swapping these parts. You take off the dry sump pump, put on a wet sump pump, put on the front cover to match. You'll notice when you take apart that dry sump that the pump itself is almost twice as thick as this. It has one pump for the pressure and one pump for the suction, sucking it out of that pan at the bottom. <clears throat> to match the thickness of this pump, you also get the front timing cover to keep it lower profile. You also get the new timing gear. What I have here is the lower timing gear that you would find on an LS7. And you can see the height difference between them because the pump was that much thicker. It was driving both pressure and suction. Now, when installing this kit, like I said, it's actually pretty simple. What you don't see pictured here is an oil pan kit. There just wasn't enough room on the table. You actually get a new C6, LS3 Corvette style oil pan and all the parts related to it to install because that is as simple as it is. Just put a wet sump pan on with this kit and you'll be fine. When installing these parts, you do have to pull your old timing gear off. Make sure you use a proper puller and a little bit of patience. You definitely don't want to do any damage to your crankshaft and you are going to put on the shorter timing gear here. After that, you'll of course put on your normal wet sump pump. You'll then put on your front timing cover. And next is your balancer. The balancer is different between wet sump and dry sump, so we make sure to include that on our kit so there's no confusion. The next part you're gonna put, on, put in right before the balancer bolt is actually the spacer. Essentially what this does is take up that extra slack. You put the timing cover on, you put the balancer on, and you'll notice there's more of this crank snout sticking out. That's all this spacer does. It's a nice, thick machine steel spacer that's made to take up that slack. And so that's what will take up the extra length of the bolt. You will still use, we included in our kit, a dry sump bolt. Do not use a wet sump bolt with these kits. We also offer these kits if you call us over the phone instead of ordering on our website, we are more than happy to help you out if you decide you want some different components. A lot of people are running different accessory drives, so maybe the balancer won't really work for you. Same thing with the oil pump. Factory GM oil pumps are great. They'll handle a whole lot of your needs, but a lot of people like to run, say, a Melling high volume or high pressure oil pump. We can help you out with that too. As well as the oil pan. Like I said, it's pretty simple. It's just a wet sump oil pan. We offer the C6 pan because it's pretty inexpensive. Surprisingly works with a lot of the 70s and 80s cars that you're swapping these engines into. But we know that there's some applications where you're gonna want a Holly oil pan, Canton, Mylodon, Moroso. We offer those parts as well. So we can definitely pick and choose parts as needed and customize a kit for you. We really appreciate you guys watching our tech videos. If you need any more assistance with the dry sump kits or parts that you need, you can always give us a ring. 
If you would also please like, subscribe, and of course share our videos. We are trying to help out as much of our customer base as possible with some of the confusions and questions, comments and concerns about all the different modifications to your Gen 3, Gen 4, and even Gen 5 LS engines. One last bit before I leave, I will give you a tech tip. Due to the way that the keyways work on an LS9 crankshaft, you cannot do a dry to wet conversion on an LS9 engine. There is just no way to do it and we don't offer a solution to that. So if you have one of those, you will have to run a dry sump setup, but give us a ring. We can also help you out with picking out the tank, the hoses, and the associated parts. Another thing to keep in mind is, is what this spacer was designed by us, but it is machined for the balancer on a factory engine. You can use this on an aftermarket balancer. Do keep in mind though that say like an ATI balancer, maybe a power bond, sometimes this can have an interference fit on the outside and you have to possibly machine or cut this down. We have had customers do that successfully in the past, so if you are gonna uh, order an aftermarket balancer, it will work. You might have to do some extra modifications yourself. Again, thank you for stopping by. Tune in next week for another tech video. See you next time.